Aaron, what are you doing? Wiping off my dusty vacuum. <laughs> vacuum cleaners get dusty. Oh yeah, they just get destroyed. Everyone, we are way, way out in the wilderness. Carpet cleaners have been trying to call me. I've been having dropped calls because... There's it's, no service. There's no service. It's so dang remote, but it's beautiful. Beautiful lakes, but the darn mosquitoes are coming out in Minnesota. Yeah. What are we, 100 miles from Canada? Yeah, about that. <laughs> Crazy. I was 60 the other day. Were you? Yep. 60 miles. 60 miles, way. an hour from Canada. Sorry, I was flipping and trying to hang on to stuff and flipping the camera. How many miles were you? 60. 60. I was an hour away. Wow. All right, so we have a bedroom area. Bunch of area rugs, which I've not quite figured out, except maybe put them up on the rail, clean and go. And then we have this great room, dining room. And we have a family type room over here too. It's been 14 years in install and they've never been professionally cleaned. So we're gonna do that here and it'll start the pre-vacuuming. I'm gonna start the tabbing and I've got rolls of sticky tabs here. And with this log furniture, most of the time you need the wider four inch roll versus the three and a half inch roll. We get a lot of log cabin type furniture up here in Minnesota. Nice and light. Yeah, just super light. Mm -hmm. It's because it's real wood. It ain't light at all. No. All right, I'll get busy. And within the first pass, already dragging out some soils. Oh yeah. All right, Aaron's doing the vacuuming, but see this? It's like a roll, just peels off, and then it's got perforated line. Ugh! Well, it's supposed to perforate and rip. We find the next one here. Oh, I got a bad roll. So here it is on the others, and this is what it's supposed to do. Tear apart, and you go from there. It sticks just enough, but not there. It'll go underneath there. See, it's sticking to my fingers. There's one. Okay, so here are these styrofoam blocks you've maybe seen in one of our other videos. We're actually going to put them under these big beasts of the furniture here. There's a lot of dust and debris they've asked us to get to. We've got sticky tabs on everything. Now as you pre-spray around it, it's prepared, slide it out, slide it back. It's super simple now. They act like a slider, but as dry, they're terrible dry as a slider, just so you know, they can peel off. But damp on the carpet, easy peasy. in there. Yep. That'd be a good idea. All right, Aaron is. You've got these pre-sprayed or that one needs a pre-spray yet? They're all ready. All I just ready. wasn't even going to try to clean it in that little area there. Yeah. They were over there. Oh, you can see the difference though in soil level. Woo! There are some soils in there. It's hiding really good. Flavor of the day is uh, 10, 10 below. below. Anything 10 added below. to it for as far as odor? Nope. Doesn't need it. Straight up can take some odor out without the use of any perfumes. Figure out, I think we're gonna be hanging those rugs because we're not soaking them, we'll be hanging them along that edge up there is what we'll end up doing and maybe a couple out in that area and wing it. We're winging it. Wing it. Yeah, You'll notice matter. Aaron is straightening out the hose. Get better airflow. Curled up hoses don't get as good of airflow. Sure, I can try to be helpful. Oh, look at that suction. The nice job is going to be to stand there. Notice where he's pushing forward. Now I have a standing point. Because we have that uh, butler and that Conway jacked up a little bit right now. Oh, good skills there, dude. Yep. <laughs> he's in dry passes, so he's kind of lightly lifting. You see you push there? Now that rug isn't going to take off on him quite as bad. We're 
getting bright. One of the first residents. For a cruddy yeah. old polyester. Poly. I was just saying, this is probably one of the first residentials I've been on in a long time with you, dude. Yeah. Oh, he's getting the skills. He's getting the knack how this rug responds. Oh. No, he's not. <laughs> we were bragging. And he got ate up by the rug. There it is again. Do your job, Mark. There, I'm a paperweight. Heavy on the paper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Sure, you want me to move? I get it. There's a little lot of soil in there, too, man. Dry passes. Another cleaning pass. Yep. Yep. We're grooming them out. We're not total hacks. <laughs> yeah. Are you trying to film us getting stuck on the couch? That, that couch, I'm telling you, a hooked on nothing thing, it likes to get hooked on a lot. What a pain. All right, we're cleaning finally. So we'll get all the dust bunnies out that we can. Get underneath a few of those pieces. Got yourself a needle? Eagle eye. The eagle eye, I saw that, a needle, yeah. So that's where we're getting the fat because there's something that drops down there and we're not moving that. No, gas line. No, <laughs> yeah, that's a gas line. Not a good thing to move. Some crazy stuff there. Oh, there it goes. It's gone. Whatever it was. Might have been a hairball, actually. I think so. Hairball? Hear that look, look? Indents. Indents. Those are on wheels, you said? Yeah. Oh, thankfully. Now we're getting some puffs of heat. Oh, yeah. All right, he's got this spot clean. These are on the sticky tabs. So all I'm gonna do as soon as he's done there is push that back. All right, he's got that in place. I can use my remaining what I can use knee. Use your titanium. No, I don't dare use the titanium. That thing don't feel good. So we're just pushing her back and nudging her in position. And now your tag's are already set. You don't yep. have to monkey with it twice. Then I can do this. Yeah. Sure, show off. Show off. And then that. Where's that go? Back there? Yep. Okay. Oh my gosh. Woo! Squealing my tires. Setting it back in place. Found some good eating under there. I feel like the eating erasers. <laughs> It was always the glue. <laughs> so there, we're underneath there. Easy peasy in this case, because we have enough room this way too to work with. And yes, we're dry passing. Everyone's gonna ask, where's Brady G? <laughs> Busted down car. He's fixing a car. He lives a little bit away from the work. And it would have been a day's work hike. So now he's trying to fix his car so he can get to work later tonight because we have a restaurant tonight. Yeah, you coming out for that one? I'm coming out. You guys take the baby butler also and I'll just video. Take the two. Yeah. Christine's going to stay home and just stay blanketed. Probably out. break down anyway. Yeah. <laughs> She's temperamental. Look at that heat just go push. Beautiful. See, we're getting behind the door too. That carpet's a little bit loose, man. But it's 14 year install. It's never been done. Yeah, I hope it doesn't do the wavy thing on it. I was tonight. thinking it might. Yeah. It may be that age. You could do the wavy thing when it gets damp and wet. And I'll go look around, but I haven't seen it. But watch, it'll happen as soon as we get out of the driveway, get down the road, and the clients call us. Keep this hose organized. 
Well, now we're getting into a little more of the good eating. Can't see it, see it through all your steam. steam. Yeah. The steam and beam. Get up there and see if I can get that in video. Oh yeah, that's looking good now. You can see the path. Main walk path there. Yeah, it's really obvious here in the camera. You can feel an indent. Yeah, I was gonna say, right there and right there. Yeah. Okay, now in the camera you can really see it. it you can't see it as much in person, but there's this two trail path that's kind of going there. And it's because the carpeting or the pad is starting to cup down, 14 years old. Same and, walk path. Yeah, same walk path and you're seeing it. Could be a little shadowing also. Well, that was pretty slick. Little side twist of the head just to drag in and out. Now, people ask about if you can steam clean out indents. You can do some steaming of some nature on them, but you gotta understand, it's not the carpet necessarily with the indent, it's the pad. And you are just not gonna take out what years of sitting there of an item has done. It takes a lot to uncrush that pad. And people talk about putting an ice cube on it, you know, to fatten it up and get the pad wet to do it. Well, don't do that, because then you're gonna have a yellow brown ring around that from your ice cube in plain water, to be honest. Stopped you in your tracks with my foot, dude. Didn't know there was that much power, did you? <laughs> no. That's in-floor electrical. Don't get the in-floor electrical wet. Or you're gonna hear all kinds of If you do, grab the suction hose and get in there and suck the water and moisture out. This ought to be good. Let's see if I can get that in there. See graphite. That? Yep, graphite from the couch. Sometimes you need a citrus like a dissolve all to release the rest of that. So let me go get some dissolve all and finish that up. Tiny bit left there. You think you can just rinse it out? See if you will. Go in a different direction. Yep, that'd be gone. All right, so much for having to walk that far. That's a good thing. I didn't want to have to walk all the way over there. That's, that's like 50 feet or something. Well, 25, 20. I'm gonna hit the center. Well, I might as well finish this square out. Sure. Then I'm done in here. We can put the couches back. We gotta get under that little table. Yep. All right. That little heavy table made out of real wood. Yeah, pine. At least it's not oak. Yeah. So that's on sticky tabs. So it's going to protect itself even if it goes onto the clean carpet. This slides really easy. Am I in your way? No. Nope. Easy peasy. See a little bit of the edges spraying there? Twirly you birds. Want, you don't want to pull on those. It'll just go. You'll have a line all the, way, all the way down the. Oh, it'd be awful. All right, it's done. Slides super easy. Just because of those uh, sticky tabs underneath there. Now you're in place. Okay, this is a whole different ball game. You got to slide one side, slide the other side. Now you want to do the flip forward on this one? Yeah. Okay, flip her forward and I'll hold it. So what he's doing, he's positioning down below where this will hit the holes. And then we're going to slide it back on top and All hopefully right. hit it. Tell me when. Go ahead and start letting her down. Okay, then he lines it up and balances it. Boom. Reposition and done. It's cleaning up really well. I mean, yeah. it's doing nice. Here's a spot right here where you can see the difference. It's slight. 
It's not crazy, but the pre spray helped to already start the cleaning process, lifting the soils up, and making it look cleaner before we even extracted. There, that can go back. Duck down. Need more? Here, let me be helpful. There we go. Like a glove. Like a glove. This thing is just saturating the light. <laughs> she looks clean, man. Any right. difference? Yep. All right, I'll get her in position. Was this thing spun around the other way? Or was yeah, it, like it was flat part. Towards flat the part window. over there. Oh, this one's gonna get some styrofoam blocks. So I've got my shoulder underneath it, pushing it up in the air, and just getting the blocks underneath, and I'll do the same on the other side. Get into some soiled stuff now. Well, the most spoiled, yeah. soiled stuff there is at this place. That's right. Pretty clean for 13, 14 years. 14 years, yeah. And on a lake with probably all kinds of lake visiting activity. Yep. You know what we're going to do though? We're going to take a blast through that dirty spot right there. Some of it's shadowing. But let's see. We're at right, right there. <laughs> Gone like in a poof. Some impressive heat there, Titan. Temperature outside is only like 50 degrees. Maybe 55 tops. Maybe. Maybe a warm spell at the most. Yeah. I love that puff of steam, dude. Wow. Intense. You know what? Take a slice right here. I think it's a shadow, but right there. Do a pass right there. You can't see it. I'm seeing something in the camera. Yep, it's a shadow from something up above. But in this camera, it looked like you missed it. <laughs> <laughs> I said I never missed. <laughs> He's like a skilled surgeon. I've already done under my corner guard. I see that. The shadows are intense in here, dude. Looks good from back here. Does it? Well, let me yeah. come take a look. Yeah, the front too looks good. Crazy how that thing just lights up one side with steam. Let's stop a second. All right, there's no one here that we can tell or show this to, but there is a little hump that's starting to develop here. A little bit of junk there too. Little hump. All right, with that little junk in the hump. Yeah, that will lay back down as it dries up. But right now there's a hump, and uh, we'll probably leave a note via text message or a phone call. And it could even get a little worse before it gets better. But those usually do lay back down. So that hump happened more because of the traffic path, getting even more wear and tear from use. But again, that should lay back down, no problem. I'll get that when I flip. Yeah. We'll add it onto the slip here. It might be one or two little humps that have happened with the carpet being damp, but it should lay back down. Can be from the area rug being there too. Yeah, that's true too. The area rug on top of the rug wearing and pushing and pulling, pushing and pulling. Well, Aaron's going all out on this one. I don't even think we measured the charge for that. Maybe we did. No. 
That's what happens when you flip all the stuff up and you see a bunch of dust under yeah. there. Yeah, it's just one of those OCD things. You can't just lucky leave them. It. Yeah, lucky them. The bed's pretty tall, so we can get under there decent, also. Yeah. He just went in the backside behind that, and probably do over here as well too. Again, one of my helpful moments here. That swivel head comes in handy. Now he's going to twist it sideways just so he can move it sideways. Nice. Skills, dude. Mad skills. The dust getter. All right. I'll step out. Getting underneath all of this. Make sure we do a thorough job. See? Helpful, but god dang, that's hot. <laughs> She's working. <Dude. laughs> She's cranking. My it. little handsies. Little snuffs and puffs and smoke. I'm right, gonna get smoke. behind the door, so time for that to go. Time for the seal door to come out. You can't close the door with the seal door in there. Okay, he's gonna get behind the door. My hands are full. Cameras and everything. Oh, dude. Okay. Got it. And here he comes out. Final countdown. Bug, that was some good eating you just threw away. <laughs> I think I took him from under the crevice. Did ya? Alright, so we'll lock the door from here and away we go. People say we, they don't see us too many residential. That's because we kind of value the privacy of people and uh, times we just have an opportunity today. We could give you one to cleaning a residential. So, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for subscribing. Give a like, thumbs up, comments. Comments really help. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. Make it happen. Great seeing you. Hope to see you in the next one.